one personality departing the stars series? Outlander is returning season 6, but questions remain over when filming begins. The scripts are expected to take audiences and have been written. But could the series see the exit of one character? Will Joe cast a Cameron create a shocking departure? Outlander season 6 will be an adaptation of the corresponding Diana Gabaldon novel, A Breath of Snow and Ashes. Showrunner Matthew B. Roberts told Deadline before this year, right now, and season 6 covers book 6. Roberts did, however, suggest when putting the scripts 23, the writers might be studying other articles from the novels of Gabaldon. He said, however, as in seasons past, we always look forward and behind to see if there's any way to add in something we've missed or bring a future bit which may be appropriate to the forthcoming season. Roberts went on to state, it is a continuing argument, but nothing is set in stone as of yet. It is wonderful how the fire of the crowd for all these characters and this story has grown across the seasons, we would love to locate a way to continue to benefit the loyalty of our fans. Following season 5 had a few diversions together with the inclusion of storylines from an echo of snow and ashes, from his voice, the show could be returning to its publication roots. One of the big storylines at A Breath of Snow and Ashes sees Joe Casta Cameron, played with Maria Doyle Kennedy, creating a swift exit in the new world when things get dicey. From the publication, Joe Casta takes her to leave of River Run with her fourth husband, Duncan Innes, Alistair Findlay. Season 5 saw Joe Casta and Duncan tie the knot after she bid farewell to her secret lover Murtaugh Fitzgibbons, Duncan Lacroix. Joe Casta has thrown right into a dire financial situation that sees a breath will see people of snow and ashes. She and Duncan will flee Canada when they see their position in River Run, Nova Scotia. Joe Casta's storyline has deviated with Murtaugh but his death appears to have set things back on track and realigned with the novels. There could be some big moments involving Jocasta before she bows from Outlander. In the publication, Jocasta holds a devastating barbecue where long-held secrets come spilling out, for example, Duncan's infidelity with slave Phaedra, Natalie Simpson. It's shown Phaedra was the result of Hector Cameron's affair with one of his slaves around the River Run estate. How this will play out from the TV series remains to be seen, however, it looks like Joe Casta could go out with a bang. Earlier this season, actress Doyle Kennedy opened up about Joe Casta rejecting Murtaugh, telling Entertainment Weekly, I told him ages ago that Duncan had proposed. And he didn't say anything besides, oh, so I'll not stand in the way in case you're happy. What? She knows he loves her, but he will eliminate everything. He is adding their love. She will always come second to his cause. And she cannot go through it. That constant danger. The celebrity reflected on Joe Casta's fourth union, explaining it was more than anything else. Doyle Kennedy explained, Jamie has moved on to Fraser's Ridge. She thought he'd come and stay with me. But he moved on to create his lifestyle. Joe Casta is getting older, and she doesn't wish to be alone. I also think there is a vast consistent line that she must walk, regarding keeping her own power within her own dominion. She's a woman. You see it a bit in the last season that, any minute, another local plantation owners could overturn what she has done. It is a measure of her intellect, and her powers of diplomacy, that she's managed to continue to the estate after her husband's departure. Because women weren't in a position of power like that at all. Needing to maintain it, and to determine her authority to write it all out, is exhausting. I believe she believes that when she had a husband, that would legitimize her. She could tell him what to do, he would do it, and it'd be accepted more quickly. 